all have things that we're not we had we were not comfortable sharing at one point and then we get more comfortable sharing it right so if all of a sudden i open myself up and I share something and then so-and-so tells their girlfriend, oh, you'll never believe what Jetty said when we were at the men's retreat this weekend. And then his partner happens to know a friend of my partner's and it gets all the way back and it was something that I shared vulnerably about what happened or what occurred with me and my, my wife then I am never going to share anything vulnerable ever again, right? It causes an immediate shutdown response, more devastating than holding on to it in the first place. Right, because now I believe, you know what? There we go, there's the evidence I needed. The world is not safe again. So when men go to, to men's retreats and we go out there in the world and we, we experience these things and we come back and we're not willing to speak about exactly what happened, this is a huge reason why. And it's really important, not just for our partners and our girlfriends, but everybody in our lives to understand that it's in, in order to create the space where this big work happens, we have to maintain that element of confidentiality. And I know that this is particularly challenging with girlfriends and wives and, and partners because the, the nature is to want to know what happened. What, what inspired this big change in you? I want to know more details. I want to know more information. Tell me the story. And a lot of times we're not going to be able to because it simply preserves the, our ability to keep doing that deep work. So I wanted to say that right off the bat. It's not because we don't trust you. It's not because we don't think that you can handle it. It's, it's simply because we have to preserve the sanctity of that container. Now, in some cases, I may feel like I can share something that is simply my own with my partner, with my girlfriend, with my wife, anybody, right? But that's up to me. I will never share somebody else's story. I will never mention somebody else's name and tie it to something that they went through with anybody, let alone my, my wife outside of a confidential circle. And I would ask and expect that any of the men who at, at the very minimum attend any of our Rising Man events would do the same. So ladies, it's not that we don't wanna share things with you, it's that we are committed to preserving the sanctity and the safety of this container so we can keep doing our work. Now, what about the things we can talk about? Okay, 